folks, see Rachana Ranade here and I welcome you all to an amazing IPO summary of APJ Surendra Park Hotels Limited. Many people know this as The Park. It's a hotel. Uh, they have various hotels in the 4 star category as well as the 5 star category. Now, if I were to analyze any company from the hotel space, I'm sure everyone would want to know how are their peers performing and for that have a look at this. Now, if you see here, Chalet Hotels, many people know this by Marriott. It is almost at an all time high. You might have uh, heard about Lemon Trees, that is, at, that, that is at an all time high. You might have heard about Indian Hotels, best example, you know about Taj, same company, it is at an all time high. EIH Hotels, that is nothing but Oberoi, that is also at an all-time high. So with all these things in your mind, plus everyone knows that the current government is giving much more focus to tourism and of course hotels are an integral part of the tourism industry. Many people are really excited about this. Plus in their RHP, it, it, it is mentioned that the CAGR of this entire industry is expected to be around 8.6% for the next almost 3-4 years, right? Now if that be so, should you immediately jump and invest for this IPO? No. First, we have to understand a lot more points. You have to know a little bit more about the company. You have to also understand about what are the financials of the company, about their peers. You should understand the risks, the IPO objectives, IPO details. So if you want to know about all these things, keep on watching the video till the end. So today, what I thought is that let me explain the entire IPO with the help of RHP, which is the Red Herring Prospectus, the base document for IPO analysis, right? Now, I'm sure everyone is working, either you are working somewhere or you are working for yourself and going through this just barely 560 page document is next to impossible. So what I've done is I've just written down the key page numbers here. I'm going to quickly refer to them and I'm going to tell you about some key points that you should know about this IPO. So I'm on page number 230. 27 here and uh, here you can understand about the overview what does the company do it mentions that it is among the hotel chains with asset ownership our company ranks achha, our companies what is th that they are going to say okay their company is ranked at eighth as the eighth largest in india in terms of chain affiliated hotel rooms inventory as at 30th september 2023 okay plus what they write is that their brands very popular brands are what the park the bar park collection zone by the park zone connect by the park stop by the zone Okay, all these are the different brands which are affiliated with this company. Now, if I were to move a little bit forward, this is where you will understand that the company currently, so as on the date of RHP, the company operates around 30 hotels across luxury boutique upscale and upper mid-scale categories. So basically, they mean to say four star and five star. And they have a good pan-India presence with uh, presence in cities such as Kolkata, New Delhi, Chennai, la 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 la, but including what? Port Blair, okay, uh, representing totally how many rooms? 2,298 rooms. Now I'm on page number 237 of the prospectus, wherein the entire map of India is shown and here they have divided this into three categories. The park and park collection is shown by the black dots. Orange is zone by the park and park connect and under development is that gray spot. So all in all, you can see that yes, they do have a pan India presence. Now with, with this, let us jump to the financials of the company. And for that, I'm going to take you to page number 161 of this PDF. All right. Now, let us understand quickly total income. If you can see, by the way, all these are rupees in millions. Total income has gone up. I'm going to just round it off from 1900 millions to 2600 to 5200. And now 6 months under data is almost 27, 30, uh, 27, 23. Again, of course, millions. Even if you see EBITDA, EBITDA is increasing from 228 to 1770. Even if you check out the net profit or loss for the period, last two years, that is 21 and 22, they were in losses. And this year in 23, they are in profit. Okay. Now, all in all, even if I were to talk about these three parameters, be it net income, be it EBITDA, be it profit and loss, you have to understand that there was COVID impact in 21 and to some extent in 22. That is the reason why you'll see that, oh, jump from 1900 directly to 5200. Are 1900 wala was the COVID year. So ideally comparing this year with 2023 doesn't make a lot of sense. It, this 2023 number has to be big enough. Okay. Plus going from loss to profit is definitely commendable. But again, if we are talking about 2021 being a COVID hit year, it is but obvious that the company would have been in losses at that point in time. Right. Now, now, if I were to move on to one or two important, uh, you know, KPIs, that is a key performance indices or indicators, ARR is one important terminology that is nothing but average room rent. 
ऑफ कोर्स हायर द बेटर दैट इज वन थिंग विच इज चेक फॉर होटल्स सेकंड इज एवरेज ऑक्युपन्सी अगेन हियर ऑल्सो हायर द बेटर ओके बोथ दीज थिंग्स आर डायरेक्टली गॉन्ट टू इम्पैक्ट द टॉप लाइन दैट इज द रेवन्यू ऑफ द कंपनी नॉ इफ इस इयर फ्रॉम ट्वेंटी ट्वेंटी वन द एवरेज रूम रेंट हैज गॉन अप फ्रॉम थ्री थाउजेंड टू हंड्रेड एंड फिफ्टी टू सिक्स थाउजेंड एंड सेवेंटी सो ऑब्वियसली दिस विल इन कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट पॉजिटिवली टू द टॉप लाइन एंड एवरेज ऑक्युपन्सी हैज गॉन अप फ्रॉम सिक्सटी सेवन पॉइंट टू सिक्स परसेंट टू नाइनटी वन पॉइंट सेवन सेवन परसेंट दैट्स डेफिनेटली अ occupancy now should i stop here to answer is no ideally i should do a comparison with their listed peers as well very nice presentation they have given in the rhp itself now if you see your total income so this is nothing but the park i am going to compare the data for 6 months ended 30th september 2023 okay for apj that is nothing but this company the park shallet as i mentioned marriott lemon tree everyone knows indian hotel taj eh uh, is oberoi and sami hotels comparatively recent listing again okay now if you see out of all these listed peers total income is one of the lowest as compared to its entire peers if i check out ebitda as well ebitda is also like amongst the lowest as compared to all the peers now if you see ebitda margin ebitda margin is at 33.38 but marriott shallet is better than that if i'm talking about lemon tree better than that indian hotel a shade lower than that 28.76 uh, if i check about eh again oberoi five star hotel uh, same is case with other one or two as well again at 32 so just with one or two percent still almost all their peers are better than them of course sami is way lower at 24% even if i'm talking about profit margin 8% is for the park then if i'm comparing it with peers 19% 11% 13% 18% uh, i mean all these and of course the uh, the sami uh, is at, uh, at at a loss but other than that i think all their peers are performing definitely better as compared to them even if i talk about the kpis that i just mentioned right now arr average room rent for apj is at 6059 shall it they are able to collect 9000 no data available for lemon tree and indian hotels but eh is at 16000 so obviously their top line is going to be way higher if i'm talking about average occupancy now here is a problem they are already at 93.29% now i'll say rachna just one minute ago you said are 93 good one that is good sign that their occupancy is high but the problem if i'm looking at from the flip side is that they don't have be- space to grow they are already at 93 so what will be required is more and more hotels which are under construction right now they need it they need to be completed and once they are completed then they'll be able to i mean accommodate more and more people in their hotel which will further add to their top line okay so all in all i hope you have understood as compared to its peers i am not really very excited about the financials of this company now that you know about the financials and their peers now let's quickly come to the pe ratio the valuation part basically as per their rhp the industry average is at 73.6 and we calculated the pe for this company it is coming to 56.36 so of course it is lower as compared to the industry average but right now you have understood how to do the financial analysis and now you know what could be the reason why they have priced it lower as compared to the industry average now let's move on with the various risks which could be associated with this company for that i'm on page number 39 of the prospectus and here you can say that one of the risks that they have mentioned in the rhp is that majority portion of our hotel bookings approximately 49% of our total room bookings contributing about 49% of our total room revenue originates from online travel agents and intermediaries and the problem in such cases is that they may be able to negotiate higher commissions for the services provided or demand significant concessions reduced room rates causing an adverse effect effect on the margins business and results of the operation but to be really honest i feel that this is not a huge risk only for this hotel this is an industry level point okay because i think more or less all people like you and me we prefer to book hotels majority of us may be using something like a make my trip or is my trip or go ib or whatever right so this could be like an industry level problem is what i feel there is one more risk that i would want to highlight which is on page number 48 and it talks about uh, the proceedings against the company or their directors now if you see here the amount involved rupees in million is 1250.97 million okay this is pretty big number why i feel so because if i want to understand the total profitability the latest net profit of the company that is 480 million so if you check 480 million profit as at 2023 and 
the overall you know litigations against the company stands at 1250 so again doesn't give me a lot of comfort at this point as well now moving ahead with the objects of the offer it is very clearly mentioned that they are going to use the net proceeds to the tune of 5500 million for repayment or prepayment of the existing borrowings now when i checked their balance sheet i found out that the existing debt is around 5807 millions so out of 5807 millions they are going to knock out 5500 million from the ipo proceeds will this significantly lower their interest uh, repayment i mean interest payment obviously yes their net debt will also be almost around zero so that's going to be a positive sign for the company and finally moving on with the ipo details ipo opens today or has opened today that is on the 5th of february closes day after on 7th price band is just 147 to 155 and fresh issues of 600 crores if you remember i told you majority of that is going to be used for debt repayment offer for sale is 320 uh, and the gray market premium as i shoot the video is 38.71% All in all I hope you have understood all the positives and negatives and I hope you have understood what are the key points which you can look at out of the 500 plus pager RHP if you enjoyed this one don't forget to share this video with your friends don't forget to smash the like button as well I hope you found some value in this video till then take care jai hind and bye bye